Well, a town that doesn't believe in the coronavirus. Have you heard of this? Well, that's what some are calling Mossy Rock, a small town in Washington state that held a freedom rally over the weekend. They're fed up with the governor's restrictions, and that's why all their businesses are open. The town's mayor welcomed the rally where hundreds of maskless people, a lot of them from out of town, by the way, gathered. Here's what one person said about it. It's a real disease, but it's not being handled properly. Restaurants don't spread it. All right. My question is to Erica, if you were mayor of this town, you don't think it'd be okay to be like, what are you guys doing? Put a mask on. Is this proper to yell? Is this an okay time to raise your voice? But it's the local uh, leadership that's actually condoning this and saying that they don't believe in coronavirus, but does coronavirus believe in them? That's really the problem, right, when we're talking about this. Um, you're, it's so strange to me when politicians are like, okay, don't wear your mask. It's like, you're basically killing off your constituents at this point. I mean, this is a numbers game, people. If you don't care about people's lives, and care about the numbers. I mean, care about something. But I do understand the frustration. Small businesses, yes. and they're absolutely right. Why can I go into a big box store, but I can't go into a mom and pop store? Yes. And the mom and pop stores, they require me to only be one of like two to three people in there. I have to use hand sanitizer before I can touch anything. They actually shepherd you through the stores. Where if I'm at a big box store like I was last week, a lady nearly cut my head off trying to push me forward so that she could get to where I was standing. And lady, I knew what you were doing. That was not okay. I'm so <laughs> with you, Erica. And just to add one more anecdote to that, if our government, first of all, everybody should be wearing masks. I'm never going to condone what was going on in that town ever. However, if the government is not going to help out the small businesses with the second stimulus package, he hello, Congress, still waiting on it, then why, who is the governor to say that you can't open or close your businesses? So until the Sam, local... Sam, yes, I'm, I'm sorry. What? I am sorry to cut you off, but you just got me so fired up. You are exactly right. But you know what, Sam? They're not waiting on the PPE, Sam. People got that. You know who got that? Joel Osteen, who's already a gazillionaire, got $4.4 million. So a lot of those businesses in Mossy Rock or Swallow Fox or whatever the name of that town was, <laughs> that's who got your money. Right. You wouldn't have to uh, have a, uh, whatever that was. I refuse to use the phrase freedom rally. That's, I don't know what that is. Not but it to mention like the employees, Al. I, All the employees that need some sort of monthly stimulus check like every other country in this world. So you're telling them they can't go to their job, then you better help them out. That's where I'm coming from. 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least. That's why we want to thank you for spending your time with us. For sending us your comments and opinions. Especially when you don't agree with us. That's what this show is about. And it's because of you, we're all a family and we cherish it. From all of us here at DBL, we wanna wish you a happy holiday and a healthy new year.